I just spent four minutes and 45 seconds talking about not changing our blessing and it completely unwound and I was getting too specific so I guess you know but what I mean by that because I've been saying in a, a couple of my videos is when let's say two people come together and they feel that it is a divine meeting a divine arrangement really everything is in my eyes everything is in my eyes but um, let's say that these two people have both acknowledged that they know that this is a divine blessing. If both persons in some way are benefiting from this, it could be a business relationship. It could be anything. If both persons are benefiting from this, especially when you both know that um, neither person is, is um, disadvantaged in any way. But it proves all the way around to be a blessing for each of them. That's why I say at that point, don't start changing it. Because once you start adjusting it, it can prove to be less of a blessing for the other person. And then if it's time to go your separate ways, then um, that's that's beautiful. And the blessing has served its purpose. But there should be no judgment about that. You know, mature, maturity should dictate that everyone is okay with moving on. Because that's where focusing on thanksgiving comes into play. Be grateful. Be grateful for the graciousness you were shown. Be so grateful for the, for the goodness you've received. And more will come to you if you focus on that. And if you look at it like that, the perspective needs to shift from one of, oh, this person just, you know, doesn't know how to um, handle a blessing or, you know, looking down on someone in any way. Don't do that. Don't do that. Be grateful for what came in into your life what entered into your life especially if you prayed for it oh when you prayed for it and you start to receive it be thankful show gratitude you'll always receive more and I even feel like that's why I meet so many wonderful people I pray that I always meet people like me I literally say that prayer and I do on a daily basis. In some way, we are alike. And mostly, it has to do with our respect and veneration for God. Mostly, it that's our common ground, is our spirituality. And I love the fact that I meet so many people who don't judge. Oh, God, I hope this don't erase. Oh, shoot, it almost erased. I saw you trying to do that. <sighs> okay. But, yeah, um... Just, just remember, and, and like I said in one of my prior videos just now, um, ask for help to remember. Because we don't always remember, and that's why we get a lot of gentle reminders. And sometimes if we don't notice those gentle reminders, we get reminders that can be a little bit more harsh. But that's why everything is a blessing. Even though some of those blessings prove to be a lesson. But don't change your blessings. Be grateful for them. You know, make make them last longer while, you know, as long as they can last. As long as humanly possible. And then, you know, and like I was saying, it's, it's okay. It's your prerogative if you want to shift things or you feel that it's no longer serving you. Um, if it's no longer serving, if it's between two people, and if it's no longer serving the both of you, or if one is severely disadvantaged. Now, see, that comes into play a lot in relationships. If one is severely disadvantaged, then that's when you know it's time to take your leave. But just pray for them.